Hello, hello. I have arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight, interdimensional tactician. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Hello, hello. Yes, so. Oh, that was weird. I don't know if that came through on your end, but uh, it was my microphone got kind of weird there for a second. Anyway. So yes, where was I? Tonight, Ark Knight. But yes, the adventure continues, the battle continues. But yes, not a whole lot to be said. Yeah, last time I suppose we did have... Yes, last time we had a very unfortunate encounter with Drudge and his mercenaries that cost us the life of a dear friend. But, as we promised, Miaro's sacrifice will not be in vain. But yes, so we're getting very near to the end of Operation Originium Dust, and we have a good few number, or a good, good number of days left before the end of the event. So, hopefully, hopefully, we shouldn't have too much issue finishing it. But yes, after some more work in the base, I do now have the ability to make dual chips, as I understand it. So, in theory, it is possible for me to promote at least one unit to Elite 2, if I feel the need to do so. But yes, I'm not exactly sure of what the time and resource investment of that is, but I suppose we will see. But yes, other than that... Oh, right, business. Say so yes, tonight, Ark Nights. Tomorrow, Ark Nights. Friday, Ark Nights. Saturday, Ark Nights. Pretty plain and simple. Once we clear the event, I'll be taking the rest of the week off, one way or the other. Of course, if that happens on Saturday, it won't be a whole lot of a break, but you know. But yes. So. Yeah, we're currently at 7 out of 8 combat stages. So... We shouldn't have too, too much to worry ourselves over. At the very least, we should probably be able to start Operation OD-8 today. Whether or not we'll finish it is up in the air. It seems unlikely. But I suppose I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. So yes. So. Thursday and Friday, you can expect the stream to start somewhere in the neighborhood of 9pm to 9.30pm. For the Saturday stream, you can expect that to start somewhere around 8.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. But yes, so, um, what else is there to say? Nothing else in particular, I suppose. The arm situation continues to improve. We've continued to tweak it, or, well, I have. You haven't been involved in any of that. But yes, I have continued to tweak it off camera, and it is responding well, so I am, yeah, troubleshooting the issues with the mechanical arm. But yes, the repair job seems to have done pretty well, and we're not expecting any, I am not expecting, again, you are not involved in this, it's my arm. But yes, I am not expecting anything serious to have to happen to make things right once more. But yes, so, that should be all of the business. So let's not waste any time and get straight to video games. Once again, we are about to start Operation OD7. We will probably start Operation OD8 tonight. We will see how things go. I'm a little bit intimidated, as is perhaps natural, but we have been through much, we have fought many battles, and we have fought many battles that are that are of a similar theoretical difficulty with far worse units, with a far worse game knowledge, with far worse tactics, more complicated mechanics. Actually, I don't know. Well, I don't know. The, the mechanics in this event haven't been terribly complex. I don't know if I'd say that they're that much less complex than any other, but I suppose I shouldn't undercut my little speech there. But yes. And despite it all, despite everything, we have still managed to come out on top without too, too much trouble. And so, we shall continue, undaunted. But yes, so, I was just about to look for the, uh, 
I was just about to look to see if there was, or to start the cutscene, but I suppose I don't need to do that, do I? We have not played this mission before, so I don't need to trigger the cutscene manually. But yes. So, the team has been serving us pretty well. Snow Sant has been kind of hit or miss. I think I, I owe a lot of that to the fact that I've been using telescoping electric net, which is not as consistent as barbed claw hook. There's not really a lot of opportunities for Snow Sant to grab a whole lot of enemies at once, generally speaking. So being able to silence more often, I think, is more valuable than being able to silence more enemies at once. But yes, Sora has also been somewhat hit or miss. But yeah, I've not invested in her very heavily. So, I suppose that's kind of inevitable. Savage has been doing well. No issues. Honestly, I don't think, uh, I don't think we'd be all that much better served by switching over to any other... Yeah, I don't think we'd be better served by switching over to any other vanguards. Or, vanguards? Centurions. Centurion guards. Yeah, I don't think we'd be better served switching off to anyone else, despite my fondness for Estelle. Savage has done very well, and I think that her... Ah... Hello there, Kagami Kenshin, or Koshin, sorry. Yes, hello to you as well. I hope you're doing well tonight. Thank you for dropping by. Yeah, as I was saying, so yeah, so Savage has been performing well. I think that her skill that we have equipped on her is, is serving us pretty well because it allows us to clear out a fair few enemies all at once when we need to. But yeah, not a whole lot of other comments to be made. Everyone else is doing basically fine. Frost hasn't been performing quite as well as I might like, but she's been doing all right. But yes, I think I had commented on it earlier, but yes, I have from just watching the gameplay, I have confirmed that Blitz, Blitz's uh, flashbang does also silence. New account? Uh, no, actually. It's a bit of a funny story, but I've been playing this game since release, um, but I never got into it very much. I mostly just did grinding and all that, because when I first started playing this game, it was around this time that I started thinking about streaming, and when I first started streaming, I sort of had it... My, pref my preferred uh, method was to play games that I had never played before. So for a while, I was sort of debating... Do I want to stream Ark Knights? I've already played it a little bit, but I don't want to play it some more in case I do want to, you know, view the story for the first time and all that. And it's a it was a whole complicated thing. Look, long story short, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been playing for many years at this point, but I've never really gotten much into the gameplay because I wasn't uh, I wasn't willing to commit one way or the other, either to playing it off stream or to playing it on stream. So, but yes, this is the account that I've had since day one. But yes, anyway, where was I? But yeah, Ross hasn't been doing anything terribly impressive. Blitz has been doing pretty well. Chonk has been doing quite well. Ash has been doing great. Gray's been, Gray's been really contributing a lot. Hayes somewhat less so, but I also don't have her promoted. Yeah, played played Arc Knights for three years straight. Very nice, very nice. But yeah, again, Sora. Yeah, glad to hear my story. Thank you. But yeah, I have really enjoyed the game. I've and I'm very glad that I've had the opportunity to actually like get into the game now. But yeah, so it's been a lot of fun doing the story, doing some of the some of the events. We've also done uh, Leaves Chasing Fire, uh, Gabriel the Great. Great Chief Returns, um, of course, uh, Operation Lucent Arrowhead, and we're up to, we haven't started yet, but we're up to Chapter 5, I believe. I think we just completed Chapter 4 before we started uh, Gabriel the Great Chief Returns and then got blindsided by uh, two Rainbow Six events in a row because I forgot they were coming up. But yes. Anyway. Colossus has been doing fine. Perfumer's been doing fine. I think for right now, we're probably going to want to keep up the double multi-target medic, just in case of the sandstorm. 
of course, if we get if we get more of the red mark, uh, what were they? Snipers, crossbowmen. I mean, they're both of those, but the red marks that shoot from range when your units are in uh, are in a sandstorm. Um, yeah, if we get more of those, then we're definitely not going to be able to live any sandstorm damage, or rather, the sandstorm damage is going to be an afterthought. But, but yeah. Everything has been doing just fine so far. Myrtle's been contributing as well as we need her to. Oh yeah, also, that stage that I wasn't able to three-star last time, I did actually go back and clear it. I might show the, uh, I might show how I finish that later on, but... Anyway, let's just get started. Don't want to drag on too much. Wretched thing. Uh, boss, what are we gonna do? I think we better fall back. Fall back? We haven't lost yet. We already wiped out the guardsmen, we just need to wait for the right time to counterattack. A couple of Rhodes Island mercs are no big deal. Where's my egghead? Where's anybody? What's that smell? What happened to the guys we had watching him? Looks like you're in a tough spot, my friend. Let me guess, even with my mighty Originium creations, you still failed. To be honest, I'm not the least bit surprised. I don't have time for your sarcasm. Well, knowing what I think of what I know of you, you're here to ask me for new toys. No wonder your father doesn't like you. Enough. I need... Are you talking to me, sir? Because I think you forgot the magic word. What? You're asking for my help. Was that the proper attitude? Are you screwing with me? Do I look like I'm joking? Ah, oh, this old geezer needs a beating. Ah! What is this? What is this? My head... My head's gonna explode, it's... You? What have you done? Your apes really have nothing of value behind your brute strength. And you, sir, do you really think you can keep science locked up here with this bunch of mentally deficient clods? Go ahead. Oh, and tell our grand old sponsor to settle down. <sighs> what, what are those? You can't tell? They're your men. Of course, they've become so much more now. Much more obedient. And soon, you'll be just like them. Why can you control them? You know no Originium Arts. Only Originium Arts can control them? You people are so blinkered. Have you ever thought about why Originium Arts can control those infected creatures? Of course, you, with your tiny brain, can never figure it out. The mad scientist rolls up a sleeve. A swollen Originium lump is twitching under his arm. As if it were alive, having its own mind. As long as you become a part of them, naturally you can communicate with them. We are having a good time together. You're such a hopeless lunatic. I'm a member of the House of Tula. I'm the successor to the Elder Bloodline of the Tula family. It's a death sentence to murder a noble on land that belongs to the Lord Amir of Baelir. Lord Amir? Noble? Bloodline? Ha ha ha. <laughs> you amuse me, Mr. Drudge. But I'm tired of this joke. I do not hate the pig. I hate only the golden crown that hangs above. In my homeland, the cardinals were burned, kings were hanged, emperors beheaded. Every vestige of the old order smashed to pieces to ensure none would ever fear the so-called nobility. What Lord Amir? What bloodline? You are nothing to me. The stinking sack of meat that is your body is even less useful than those of the Orpathy sufferers. What do you call them again? 
Oh yes, the infected. The infected have contributed to my experiments, but what have you done? Your status has no value to me, and your lack of foresight is baffling. Useless trash. Such a vile, stupid, evil thing still calls itself noble. Tell me, what part of you is noble? Anyway, you have nothing to worry about. I have no interest in your rotten world view. I am a scientist. I pursue only objective truth. What do you want? Science treats all people equally. It won't change a bit because of your background. Nobles and commoners are the same on the operating table. The scalpel cuts skin just as well. Your contribution is identical. Considering you specifically, once you donate your body to science, you will no doubt be slightly more noble than you are now. You should feel honored. You despicable traitor. Traitor? Traitor? <laughs> you raised your hand against your very own sister. You betrayed your flesh and blood. You colluded with foreign mercenaries to plunder your father's wealth. You betrayed the country that birthed and raised you. And you still have the gall to call me traitor? You won't get away. You have no idea what the forces behind me are doing. They're the ones who came up with all your research funding for the last six months. If you betray me now, you're betraying them, too. The people of Olvart Kochinsky will hunt you to the ends of the world. They will kill you. There's nowhere you can run. That I will handle. Don't you worry. Goodbye, imbecile. Excellent. Very good. What's with the getup? I found it in the Lord's storehouse. It looks good. Yeah, it sure does. This is the craziest battle plan I've ever heard. Very convincing. How do you know an Originium explosion will draw the monsters out of the ground? All I can say is it's thanks to the Doctor. The monsters have been obeying the casters all this time, except that one night. I realized those wild monsters were actually trace chasing the scattered originium shards. So you decided this is the way to go? It's kind of a gamble, actually. Where did you get this originium engine? Well, some things happened and I guess we ended up with a car. It looks awfully familiar. Isn't that the one we lost? Let's not worry about that right now. Ah. What about the mine? That mercenary we caught basically gave out everything. The factory your brother used to produce monsters is located deep inside the mine. I think he probably hasn't given up yet. Ah, that makes sense. If we bait the monsters out here, Cohen will have a chance to bring her people down there and blow the Profanity. Thing up. Just as simple as that. Doesn't sound simple, though. This plan seems to be full of the unexpected and far from seamless. But I like this kind of plan, where battling is the only solution. If even Ranger says so. Alright, friends. Take your places. If all goes according to plan, firing up the Originium engine would get a whole bunch of monsters coming at us. And we're in for a tough fight. And thank you, Rhodes Islanders, for choosing to stay and help. Don't worry about it. It's my job to clear out contaminated wildlife. Is that unpaid work? So annoying. Thank you. I don't know how to express my gratitude. Let's save the thanks for later. Alright, if there are no further questions... The Originium engine chugs out a steady sound, with thick smoke rising up and flames lighting up the sky. Here they come. Too many? How many? Over a hundred? No, probably more. No, but are even more coming. We can only hope Cohen is doing okay. Alright, Bunker Defense Line. So I suppose...
we are sort of uh, defending the town, the or what's left of it at this point, where the rest of them are infiltrating... I was going to say infiltrating uh, Drudge's uh, stronghold, but uh, I suppose it's not his anymore. Hmm. I'm seeing now we don't have... If only my music could put an end to all this hmm. fighting. Okay. So we've got three points that we need to defend. And we've got not a lot of ground units to do it. We do have one ground unit. Yeah, I guess we have enough ground units that we can cover every spot. But I suppose we, we don't need to... Hmm. In theory, we don't need to protect that as long as we defend this path. Unless we are assuming enemies can get over us somehow. Well, I guess they could probably get behind us, but you know. Hmm. Well, let's start gaining some uh, points. In fact, actually, we could probably make this a lot easier on ourselves if we're just mindful of how we uh, deploy our other units. Um... Hmm. Let's go. So things are going just fine so far. No issues yet. But everything could change. And quickly. Um in the absence of any information to the contrary, I think we're going to defend these mounds. Or reinforce them, I should say. So yes. Other mounds to defend would be probably this one down here. Maybe the one over to the right could have also been fine, but I think this one's also perfectly acceptable. I should probably start... Well, hmm. I was going to say I should probably start oh, deploying a medic at some point, now. but we're doing pretty okay. I suppose we're now doing somewhat less okay, but... We didn't need Myrtle to stick around for that long, necessarily. But yes, things are progressing steadily and smoothly so far. No real issues. Hmm. We could probably get a little bit more range, a little bit more range damage on the field. And we could probably swap out Myrtle at some point. Mutant giant rock spider. Oh dear. You know what? I don't like that. I really don't like that. So. Let's. Would it be. I think it'd be more valuable to silence it closer to. Ooh, oh dear. Oh, okay. So this thing is going to shoot us. Hmm. Don't like that. I'd rather. Hmm. I don't like any of this, actually. Um, this is not a great place to deploy um, Ash, I don't think, but I'll do what I must. Um, very interesting, very interesting. Given the success we've had so far, we honestly might be able to get away with not having a uh, medic on the right-hand side. And instead, just uh, relying on perfumer. Ready to go. Stay clear. All right, let's start cleaning up a little bit. Oh, that thing isn't too troubling, actually. Now that we uh, have started shooting it severely. Yeah, this isn't too bad. Hmm. Okay, that one down there is kind of bad, though. And. Okay, we're not going to... Yeah, we're not going to be able to do that. Um, let's reduce the amount of incoming spiders a little bit. Alright. Yeah, I'm seeing... 
This has been kind of a an issue so far. But yeah. I'm definitely seeing it more now that the the shortcoming of uh, the shortcoming of Snow Sand, despite her ability to, in theory, hard counter infected creatures, is the fact that she really um I guess we've won, so you know, we're not too worried. But um in theory, she can hard counter infected creatures, but she's really only able to, uh, or rather, okay. With telescoping electric net, she doesn't silence as often as I would like. With her barbed claw hook, her automatic skill, she doesn't, she doesn't silence when I want. Well, it is what it is. Again, we've oh, yes. won, basically, so I don't need to worry about it too much. Um, yeah. And we might as well Did use Blitz to go? ensure that the... Well, it's outside of Blitz's range, actually. Um, time to use the actually, it should have been within Blitz's range, unless it's immune to being silenced. Hmm. Anyway. As I was saying, with the... Exp Resences being like faster than everything else that they, uh, all of their contemporaries, it does make it a little bit hard to really get value out of, uh, out of Barb Claw Hook because she tends to just grab, uh, excrescences. Sit. Away with you. This is endless. Honestly, that went really smoothly and really easily. Um, granted, we know that we've got uh, more coming, but... How many of these profanity things did they make? Oh, well. How many of these profanity things did they make? Liskarm, look out behind you. <sighs> Watch out. Franca, what are you doing? Give me a hand, Miss Lord. Oh, okay. You, run. Don't speak. My leg, you, just leave me. Cut it out. Piggyback, quick. They're coming back. Now, get out of here. Over here. Mr. Ockven, what are you doing here? How could I just wait around down there? I'm a Rhodes Island operator, too. Really? Really are. You really saved us. You're ready to blow the engine. Three, two, one. What's the situation? They've been pushed back for now. They'll come at for us again before long. There seems to be less of them. I'm all out of welcome mats. Ammo's gone too. What's the plan, Alexander? Get to the shelter. What? Get to the shelter. Take the Rhodes Island operators and get to the shelter. What about you? I'll cover you. Cover? And who's covering you? I don't need cover. Hey, get it together, Alexander. I'm all together. I'm tired of all the hiding and running. Running can't win you the war. History is shown. But this isn't a war. It is to me. When they pull weapons on the infected and try to kill my friends, it's a war. I've been through plenty of wars in my time. If I can kill even one more profanity, Monster here. It'll give the townsfolk a better shot at survival. I'll make my stand here until I run out of ammo. Until the very end. The battle's not over. How could I retreat? You're the one who says not to play hero. I don't think I'm playing hero, Tina. I'm just doing the right thing. No matter what happens, the show ends here. Today. Alexander! I'm staying too. Why? 
It was always going to turn out like this. We all knew it from the moment you decided to stay and fight. I'll stay behind and help the warrior hold them back. And if things go bad, I'll cover his retreat. Mr. Rangers. Alexandra, take this. What's this? An originium bomb I tried my hand at making. There's only two left. Thanks. Stay alive. No promises. You didn't tell her the truth. You're not going to run. <laughs> you didn't have to go blowing this old man's scheme. You need someone to hold these monsters back. The aged ranger takes out a blade. This is... The old lord's blade. I borrowed it. This is a fine blade. The old lord had good taste. Beautifully decorated steel and a hand laying turquoise handle that's as nice as any modern industrially manufactured weapon. It's a lot safer to stand in the back with a bow and arrow than fighting on the front line. The old sovereign ranger dances with his long curved blade. Very cool, very cool. I'm so much older and slower than I was. With the blade, she's as sharp as ever. I still don't know your name, warrior. Alexander Senaviv. You can call me Alexander. I should tell you my name too. But the sands buried my name the day we stained the valley red with blood along with the past. It's fine. You decided to stay and fight. That's what matters. Dangerous. They told me I died. They were wrong. I was reborn. No matter how many of these monsters there are, let them come. We, we won, Doctor! We sure did. All right. So, it is time for the big mission, probably. Yes, okay. I was wondering if there might be another story chapter in between this and the and the mission. So, we've got Virginian Bombs. We've got the mine. And we've got um, a very different landscape to what we've been seeing. A bit troubling, but... Hmm... No clues, other than we're fighting a good variety of monsters. I imagine we'll probably be fighting a pretty wide, uh, pretty wide array of the things that we've fought. At the very least, we'll be facing a wide array of the uh, origin mutants. But yeah, I don't imagine we're probably going to be seeing any red marks because they probably aren't alive anymore. But yes. So, in theory, whatever we face in here, Snow Sant should probably be pretty decent against. Ray has contributed to contribute greatly, continued to contribute greatly. But yes. Not much else to be said, I don't think. I'm half tempted to swap out units other than uh, Ash, but no. Nah. We will we will keep uh, our Rainbow Six operators to the end, even if they're not there in the story necessarily. But yes. Um so yes. I suppose there's not much to be said. Let us get started and begin what I imagine is the first attempt and not the last. Rangers' map stops here. It's all up to us now. Who knew this cave would be so big? It's like the ground beneath the town is completely hollow. Are the explosives okay? We've got the strongest batch from the safe house here. I hope Lord's plan works. I'm afraid it won't be that simple. Look there. I hope it's not what I think it is. <sighs> That's a person? <sighs> whatever it is, it's going to die, and that's enough. I won't be surprised at whatever profanity... <clears throat> Sorry. I won't be surprised at whatever profanity shows going up now. Keep moving. Don't get caught up in a fight with them. We don't have time to waste in here. Understood. And we're back 
in the old lab. Why would Long Spring have a facility like this underneath it? Cohen, where are we? I knew it. Profanity. I knew it. <laughs> so this is where most of the lab ended up. Now that I think about it, we were too careless. We've lived in this town for so long, we had no idea at all. It's that psycho behind all of this. What's that smell? What else could it be? It's the smell of death. Stay frosty and close. What are these? Cages? So many? All corpses. People and beasts together. This is the work of Levi Klitschko, a man both mad and cruel beyond imagination. I never should have tried to take him alive. He should have a bullet in his head. Your typical madman wouldn't do something this awful. Wait. There's someone alive in that cage. Huh. Look who's here. It's that drudge character. I'd recognize the profanity anywhere. Oh, it's you, the mercenaries. I'm so glad to see you. I know we've had our differences in the past, but let's set them aside for now. I have a feeling you're looking for, this, for that scientist, and I know where he is. We've got a common enemy, and the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So brazen, I'm sick to my stomach. That's feline over there. I know you. Your skills are pretty easily recognizable, and one can hear a lot in the mercenary market in Colombia. You are a killer, aren't you? Rhodes Island hired you, meaning even they have quite some dirty work to do. Compared to others, you must know better than how to weigh up the pros and cons. Let's have a talk, shall we? Shut up, or I can help you with that. Shame. I thought people like you would be more realistic. Open the cage. What? Don't worry about it. Just open the cage. Got it. Good call. We all know the score. Yeah, I sure do. Hold on, what are you doing? Ugh. Hey, you crazy... You... Help me, please! Please! Please, stop! Huh, you can still talk. Guess I'm not done. Second time that uh, a Rainbow Six event has... Not quite, but gotten very close to ending on uh, the leader of the resident team Rainbow just beating a dude up. I guess it's technically the first time, but it is a it's a fun little fun little uh, fun little tradition. And this one's for Doctor Miaro. Okay, okay, he's had enough. <sighs> you went a little overboard there. What, you feel bad for him? Man, you almost killed him. Totally rearranged his face. Save your strength, we've still got work to do. You're right. <laughs> what happened? Nothing, I'm just feeling a lot more relaxed. You know what? Me too. If he's locked up in there, he must be part of Levi's plan. I'm not surprised. You know, I've... last time, I saw it written as Lev, and I thought maybe that was a, a spelling error, considering we've seen a fair few spelling and grammar errors uh, throughout parts of this event. I'm starting to think maybe I misread his, I've been misreading his name this whole time, and it's actually supposed to be Lev. That relaxed them? Yes. Uh, 
you know, you don't want to mess with, you don't want to mess with uh, people who shoot people for a living. So yes, counter-terrorists or assassins, one way or the other. Yeah, it's like a, like a, a stress ball, I suppose, except it's a, a man who's very rude. There, yeah. All right, now it is time to confront the doctor. But the other doctor, not the doctor, and not the other other doctor. The evil doctor. Anyway, I don't see anyone here. Might be an ambush ahead. Keep cautious. Okay, so it is Levi. It is Levi. I've not been misreading it this whole time. Well, well, well. Look who it is. More visitors to my laboratory? It's been a while, my friends from Team Rainbow. A gigantic experimental area, a corner previously kept dark, is bathed in light. At the same time, the visitors all realize why they didn't notice the air when they came in. The elderly scholar stands behind a thick glass wall and in front of a huge cultivator. Lev has a... Why? Hmm. Well, okay. Whatever. We're just going to read it as, as Lev when it's Lev and Levi when it's Levi. Lev has a grotesque smile on his face, both chilling and unnatural. A moment later, the cultivator itself lights up and reveals a spherical crystal wrapped in connective tissue, floating, writhing, twitching. You're just in time. No, you always come at precisely the right time. Don't bother. It's bulletproof glass. I applaud your decisiveness, squeezing the trigger without hesitation. Don't even wait for an end to our little prologue here. But we have a show to put on. A great opening requires a great audience, and a complete opening dialogue. Today is a day of praise for the great work of the Creator, and that Creator is none other than yours truly. Creator? That's quite the title you've given yourself. You're a profanity, psycho. Psycho. <laughs> The mediocre always use this word to describe ideas and concepts they cannot understand. Behold this world. Completely different chemistry. Totally inverted laws of physics. The flower of science blooms in exploration and doubt. And the most fertile soil lies in the land of the unknown. And now, I have succeeded. Do you see? Can you feel? The surface appearance is similar, but all it all functions on radically different principles. This is the evolution of life. This is the iteration of existence. Regineum is the truth of this world. You should accept that, don't fear it. Welcome to the future. Don't you have even the slightest moral compunction over what you're doing? What does human life even mean to you? Human nature is weak. Good and evil are subjective definitions of weakness and what we call guilt is but one of the myriad cognitive signals produced by the brain. And the science I pursue is never swayed by such flimsy concepts. Don't delude yourself that even in this world you still bind your minds with these meaningless ideals. Even electronic information technology and nuclear energy were originally designed to help us kill each other more effectively. Would you add a new layer of definition to science? Force everything to fit your fragile spiritual needs? Nonsense. What? I forgive you. You don't have to understand. I'll allow you to go on. Unknowing. Primitive thinking is a form of, is a common form of ignorance. It's not your fault. And I forgive you. That's the end of my speech. And in addition to my forgiveness, I also offer you my thanks for waiting so patiently. Now, it is time for praise. Give your praise to this entirely new life form. Praise be. Praise be. Praise be. Blood splatters everywhere. Glossy, inorganic compounds break through the cultivator. Writhing, deformed limbs support a massive, unwieldy, spherical head at an uncanny angle. And sharp, reddish spines pierce straight through the scientist's skull. It presses, reforms, and fuses together. 
no matter what, we absolutely can't let that thing make it to the surface. You stall it. I'll get the bomb ready. All right. So. Begin the attack. What the profanity is that thing? Looks like some kind of infected creature, but this body is entirely originium. Maybe it's not really alive. The Kaiga count is clicking. That thing's giving off radiation. Hold on, it keeps splitting. Is this the product of science Levi was talking about? No matter what, we can't let that thing out of this lab. Keep it busy. I'll plant the bomb. Tactical support system. Hmm. Online. So, a madman who should not have stepped upon this world, an oddity that should have not existed in the not existed in the other world. The union of the two gave birth to this note of evolution that far surpasses the limits of biology. So, that does give us a tremendous amount of tactical information to work off of, but I'm guessing this thing is nasty, and I'm guessing it's going to spawn enemies. Good scenery here, Doctor. So, you've got excrescences. Oh, well. Okay. Alright, um... Actually, what do I... This thing is, was, booty cheeks? Hmm. Understandable. Um, so we have lost already. Um. It's too bad we didn't win, but hmm. I won't let it discourage me. So, I get the feeling that I'm probably going to want a charger here. I'll keep going with the team I have for a little bit longer to get a better idea of what we need here, because it could just be that we could have just placed uh, Myrtle somewhere Let's else. Look alive out there. All right, we know we know all this. Yes, please. Everyone, no need to have cold feet here. Good scenery here, Doctor. So, we will not delay. I should have placed her on the other side, but oh well. Um, I guess we do have time to place Snow Sand. Snow Sand is probably not a great choice here, but she is a choice. Virginia Tumor. Oh, I didn't get the chance to see that. Oh well. All right, once Myrtle has dealt with this, we might just have a chance. Ooh, oh, I have to get serious now. Hmm. So me. far, we've not been seeing large amounts of anything. Oh, hmm. I don't like that. <laughs> hmm, hmm, <laughs> hmm, Um, we want... What do we want? Um, we want ideally everyone to be in healing range, but that's not going to happen as things are right now. Um, not unless we sort of change things up a little bit. And, okay, yes. Um, Snow Sand can block two. Hmm. Oh dear. Hmm. So, I'm not liking what's going on here. Hmm. I'm especially not liking the fact that we don't really have a whole lot helping. Oh dear. Not a whole lot helping blitz. Um, Let's go. Uh, so heavy. I'll do my best. Okay, so it's in a some Let's kind of state now. What? What just got past us? Um. Hmm. All right. Let's set off the bomb. Oh. Well, that didn't do a whole lot. Hmm. Oh, 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 we're seeing enemies going the other ways. Okay, we're going to lose. Okay. Hmm. I'm sorry. I wasn't good enough to be your help. Okay, so I did kind of forget that we had to deal with the other sides too. Okay. So. Probably Myrtle is not the choice here. Let's get a little bit more information if we can. 
So, origin mutant tumor, a twisted organism born under the combined effects of radiation, mutation, and originium, uh, originium infection. These malign tumors on these organisms' bodies still contain a large amount of hazardous substances. When blocked, sig significantly reduces the blocker's attack speed. So yes, okay. Unable to move. Will evolve after a certain duration or when HP falls below a, cer a certain threshold. Periodically creates origin mutant excrescences or origin mutant tumors. Periodically deals a large amount of true damage to all allied units on the field. Okay. Firstborn form. Greatly reduces physical and arts damage taken from units to the left. The dilution form. Greatly reduces physical and arts damage taken from units to the right. Perfect form. Takes greatly reduced physical and arts damage but loses HP every second. Okay. So it's immune to most things. Which is probably not too not uh, too much of a surprise. It doesn't look like it's immune to uh, to being silenced. I don't know if that's necessarily going to help us. I don't know that we're going to actually be able to silence this thing in theory. But if we could, that would be pretty cool. Um, I guess yeah. Most of these aren't worth too much consideration. We're probably going to see the giant rock spiders, maybe, I w if I had to guess. Um, because, yeah, have we encountered any other origin mutants? I don't know. I don't think I've seen anything other than mutant rock or giant rock spiders. Any different ones other than giant rock spiders. Um, so, we need to be able to deal with large numbers of enemies. In theory, we should be able to do that pretty reasonably well with our ranged units if they can deal enough damage. We're going to need to defend the sides as well. So yeah, so we need defense on the sides. We need defense on the front. And we also need to keep in mind that the essence of evolution cares about positioning. But yeah, so putting Tachanka on the left-hand side there was uh, the wrong play. Given the fact that we can't, that this thing doesn't sleep, and why would it, of course. Um, given the fact that this thing doesn't sleep, we could possibly make use of Sora, actually, like, more effectively than usual, in all honesty. Yes, I'd really rather not have to deploy Snow Sant immediately, but we'll accept what we what we have in front of us. Um, but yes, so. So yes. I'm honestly, I almost think that we should have, um, how do we want to do this? I guess positioning doesn't matter. Like, we don't need to be... I was thinking maybe if we put our units far enough away from the thing, it might be able to, uh... You might be able to not get hit by it, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. Alright. Hmm, okay, we've got... No. Er, yes, okay. We're fine. Um... So yeah, anyway, as I was saying, Sora can sleep other things, but she can't sleep this. Which means that it can't get out of uh, being shot, which is nice. But yes, welcome mats are almost certainly going to be very useful to us. I don't know if they're going to be, like, amazingly useful. But we can definitely get some use out of them, at the very least. But yeah, the excrescences are not a huge problem. We can kill them without too much trouble. Yeah, I almost feel like uh, Perfumer's other skill would be more applicable here. I should, like, start dealing damage to this thing. But yeah, we're dealing with the excrescences and the, you know, its various... Okay, now it's changed, so... Yeah, it doesn't care so much about what's on the right-hand side now, I think. The bomb didn't do 
basically anything to it, which is a little bit disturbing. Um, Setting up. Okay, so we don't have enough damage on the traps to, uh, on the welcome maps to be able to take out the tumors. Um, and we don't have enough speed on them to be able to just, just Damn throw it. them out. Did anyone remember to bring the ammo? Hmm. Okay. So we need a little bit, we need things to go a little bit better than that. We need to do a little bit better than that. Again, we're not too worried, because we do have plenty of time, but I don't want this to have to take the entire rest of the week if I can avoid it, so probably we should start making changes sooner rather than later. So, Savage is... I didn't deploy Savage there, so anyway, I'm not too surprised we didn't see too much out of her. I guess I don't know for sure that it starts out in... Um, I don't know for sure that it starts out in... Firstborn form? I guess I don't know that it doesn't. In theory, if we... Well, okay, no. I was going to say in theory we could place a unit above or below it, but no, we couldn't. There's no place above or below it that we could... Uh, it does? Okay. I figured as much. That made sense. But yeah, it appears that it changes fairly often. Often enough that it's... We can't really... Um, it changes often enough that we can't really, like... Because, yeah, like, its health was not very low there. So, just placing units on one side of it and then switching over to the other side isn't going to be the play, I don't think. But, yeah, okay. So, I think we want... I don't know. I don't know if Snow Sand is going to actually be worth much here. That feels kind of rude to say, but... Hmm. Okay, we need to think this through a little bit. So we need to defend the sides. It seems that only the tumors go to the sides, which is good because they're pretty weak. And they're not that frequent. So we could potentially put a sort of like a charger on either side, or, you know, at least some unit that's not too strong or doesn't need to be too strong one thought well hmm i was going to say we could use a uh, summoner but i don't know that that would really help us that much because i'm i've not used a summoner in a long time but i'm pretty sure that summons take up uh still take up uh slots you know deployment slots so yeah so that might not be the play Hmm. They do. Okay, thank you. Um, so yeah. So we could place summons on either side, but they'd basically just be cheaper units, which really wouldn't benefit us that much. Though, again, it would... Hmm. I guess. Well, okay. Now that I think about it, even if the only benefit that they have is that they're cheap... At least we're not, you know, can, we're not, like, putting an otherwise, like, useful unit there, you know? We can just sort of not worry about them. Um, but yes. So, summons could be good. They might also not be. Um, welcome mats, we're doing not enough damage to kill them, and we don't get them that quickly. So... They're probably not the play. They could be useful. They could help slow things down, but they aren't the play, I don't think. Sora could be useful for buying some time every now and then. Um, other than that, I'm not sure what to what to really do here. I don't know if I just like place the bomb at a, or I detonated the bomb at like a bad time or something like that, but it didn't, it really didn't do Stay much to the, uh, Targets detected. to the essence. Um, Good scenery here, doctor. Hmm. Actually, given what I was observing earlier, Don't let them get the drop on you. would this be a decent strategy? Yes, actually. Hmm. 
we wouldn't be able to place... Yeah, we can't place Frost in such a way that, um, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, we can't place Frost in such a way that, um, she can... Well, actually, no. If we placed her here, she could have contributed and blocked. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Interesting to think about. Um... I won't welcome that set. Hmm. I don't trust this, but it's doing surprisingly well, this strategy, I must admit. I'm ready. Piece of cake. Ooh, it's not doing, like, well, now. well, but it's doing well. It's ready doing something, go. at least. Deployed. Yeah, switching over to... Uh, Perfumer's other skill would probably be of value here, I think. Um, That's fine with that fragrance revive your mind. They're not Deploy. getting healed that quickly is part of the problem here. Um, hmm. Yeah, Myrtle having to block things is definitely not what I would like. Oh dear. And I definitely don't like having uh, lost a unit to welcome that. Um, all right, we've lost. It's too bad we didn't win, but I won't hmm. let it discourage me. Snipers, I think, are definitely going to be useful here to take out the excrescences quickly. Sip. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like Ash's other skill is probably going to be better. Just having, at a certain point, just more attacks. Just two attacks per attack is good. Let's get our heads in the game. Frost. Um, hmm. Finding the enemy... Yeah, keeping them in place for longer is probably better. And we'll get, uh, like, very quickly wipe them out. But yes, again, defending the sides with summons does still take up slots, but it also frees up, uh, it means we don't need to worry so much about, uh, using, like, we can put, like, good units in places where they're, like, useful. Like, we don't need to worry about placing units in a place that's not valuable to us. Of course, we could also just re-reposition Myrtle after a certain point or something to that effect. That could also be beneficial to us. Yeah, I'm probably too attached to keeping Myrtle out for a while, because I keep thinking like, oh, I need, uh, I need DP, I need DP. But the issue isn't really the DP. I am being a little bit, a little bit too, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm being a little bit too hesitant, I think. Hmm. Yes. I keep meaning to switch over to Perfumer's other skill, um, but I just keep not doing that. Laying out um, the welcome mat. Yes, yes, this is fine. Let's go. It might be good to place any blockers at all, really, but uh, units with more block on the around the like frontal area here considering that we know that this is going to be sort of a place that is a... Deploy. where are the stronger enemies are going to end up. So this is a if anyone needs to sneeze, let's get one. Um, but yeah, some damage on the right side would be good. Hmm, okay. I should have... yeah, I should have... Do you think I, I was careless there. I definitely could have dealt with that easier. And, well, I could have dealt with that at all, but... Let's go. Yes. Between Frost and Blitz, we can basically just cover the entire right-hand side pretty effectively, it seems like. Um, That's fine with you. Come on. Chin up. 
And we can probably cover the right or the left with welcome mat, honestly. Okay, okay, we need to make things not split because we don't have that much defense on the left hand side, or at least we don't have that much uh we don't have that much offense on the left hand side is actually the problem. And that is solvable. I don't know if I want to solve it in that precise manner, but we can solve it. Laying out the welcome mat. Yes, please do lay out as many welcome mats as you can possibly give us. So, they are a little bit per more pernicious than I was expecting these tumors. Um, Damn it! So, I don't think we're going to be able to easily just cover the, the left-hand side with just what we were doing there. Again, I should really just redeploy Myrtle sooner, be less, um, yeah, I should be less you precious be with my units. Everyone. I don't need to worry that much. Everyone, no need to have cold feet here. Okay. I wonder if we can place Ross in a way that uh, she can shoot at the essence occasionally. Because yeah, she is going to prioritize the other units. And in fact, she's going to take some shots on the at the ones on the left every now and then, which is very valuable, I think. Um, I have to get serious now. But anyway, so putting Blitz in the back here, Welcome putting him behind Myrtle is, I think, the, a lot better. I feel like we're probably not getting as much value out of these explosives as I would like. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Yeah. That setting up that explosive really did not do good for us. Okay. So I don't think explosives as a way to deal with the essence of evolution are just not viable. I don't think. Um. We just can't expect that to work. Um. Hmm. But yeah, I guess the real thing here, the real bulk of the matter, is the, like, we're not really... Let me put it uh, this way. We're not going to be in a situation where the essence of evolution is going to suddenly, like, you know, sneak up on us, you know? It's not going to be that big of a... Well, it's going to be a big problem. I I cannot overstate that. It's going to be a problem. But... Hmm, okay. I let my thoughts get away from me, and now the left-hand side is not uh, defended properly. So, yes. So, the essence of evolution is not going to, like, sneak up on us, literally or figuratively. Um, I don't think we have enough blocking on the right-hand side. Um... Yeah. Um, okay. A fatal error occurred during the operation. Reboot the system to proceed. Okay. So, the problem isn't damage. Like, we're not, or the problem isn't taking damage. We're surviving all of this just fine. What is the, what is the, oh, okay, there were rock, giant rock fighters. I didn't even see any. Um,. Periodically does true damage, so it doesn't really matter that much what we do with that. Okay. Okay. So. The essence of evolution is in the middle. We need to clear out the small enemies, mutant Octorox. Yeah, they do look a lot like Octorox. But yes. We need to clear out the small enemies. Those are a big problem for us. What we do about that, though, is yet to be determined. Anyway, okay. So let me get, let me organize my thoughts a little bit on the grounds of what I was talking about earlier. So, 
the essence of evolution isn't going to sneak up on us at any point. I actually, what do we? I don't necessarily want to do this thinking while we're in the mission, but I do want to see. Okay. Let's go. So beyond the enemies that just spawn no infinitely. Beyond the enemies that spawn infinitely, we're only going to see so many enemies, it seems like. There's a strict, finite limit to how many enemies that there will be on this stage. So that's nice. Or rather, there's there's an infinite number, but there's only so many, like, real enemies that we're going to face. So I've been very focused on trying to deal damage to the essence of evolution. But we probably don't need to worry about it that much. Probably it's more valuable to keep it, um, probably it's more valuable to try and hold back the tide, so to speak. And, yeah, um, okay. How we do that, though, is the question. Because Tachanka and Frost on the right-hand side were not sufficient on their own. Blitz and... Okay, Blitz and uh, Savage did all right, but again, our defenses failed us on the left. And there's also the issue that if we're if we're this focused on the, I don't know, it's challenging. It's very it's very difficult. Um, I'm here to help. So yeah, one one like okay, just like full stop. We need to get rid of like the extrescences and whatever all those things like fast like they cannot be allowed to live um whoops okay well case in point um so i've allowed them to live which is a bit of an issue There's probably a better place to put him, but whatever. Um, hmm. I guess. We don't necessarily need them all, like, here. It might be better to position some units like so, maybe, but maybe not. Um, we cannot justify waiting, but we do need to keep the pressure on. Um, we need a medic sooner rather than later, because otherwise, uh... Otherwise, Myrtle is going to die sooner than we would like her to. Myrtle dying at all is not a huge deal, but we don't want her to die now if we can avoid it. I'd like to get at least one more charge out of her, one more support out of her. Um, do we want to wait? No, we don't. Um, okay. So, given the circumstances, I think that we probably want to use the high energy Iridium bombs more so for clearing out large numbers of enemies than anything else, really. Um, okay, I think we can justify swapping her out now. Snow Sant is okay at the role that she's in. I don't know that I would say she's great in it, but she's doing just fine. Um, we need to, like, start dealing with these things a little bit faster, though, I think. Um, what's what's her range? She's got pretty good range. Um, so, yeah, we need to use the... We need to use the welcome maps more aggressively, I think. We need to cover our right flank before too long. We also need to cover our left flank. Um, I guess, yeah, I was thinking just using Myrtle there, but um, while that's probably the best idea, uh, it's definitely not the one that's going to be the option for us right now. All right, the situation is falling apart a little bit. Uh, we don't have enough passive healing to keep Frost up. We're about to lose. Um, okay. A fatal error occurred during the operation. Hmm. Reboot the system to proceed. Okay. So I was trying to sort of hang this whole operation on Perfumer's passive healing. And I've been using her 
first skill for that, which is not really what it's meant for. I think the, the second skill is more apt for that, if that's what we want to do. With pleasure. Hmm. Sora... Sora has been kind of a questionable choice throughout most of this event, but she's especially now because there's really, it's very hard for me to like place her in a way that's like useful. Hmm. I was thinking maybe we could use her to like delay some enemies, but I don't think that's really valuable to us at this point. Hmm. But yes. The Chonka is doing fine. I don't think we need to... Well, okay. Part of the issue here is that we're not dealing with the clusters of enemies fast enough. That is a problem that can be remedied with Ray, though. Possibly with adding another... Um... Honestly, we probably don't need Ray specifically. We could probably make do with, say... Uh... I mean, any, like, uh... AoE uh, sniper... Um, Meteorite is a crowd favorite, but I think we're going to go with Catapult because she's cheaper. Um, yeah, Catapult seems like the best choice. It's not time to head out yet, right? Let me hang out for a bit longer. Because, yeah, I don't think we're facing anything that has any particularly high defense. At least nothing that has so much defense that we care that much. But, uh, yeah... Catapult having higher range, lower cost, and, um, yeah, higher range and lower cost is going to contribute a lot. We need to worry about, yeah, we don't need to worry about, like, okay, we don't need to deal with, um, yeah, most of the enemies that we're fighting are, like, super weak. We don't need to worry about them too much. So... What we need to focus on is taking out enemies before they become a problem. We need to take them out quickly. So I was tending to stack up units on the left-hand side. Not for any particular reason, just that's just how it happened. But I don't think that that is the play. At the very least, well, okay. Whatever side we end up putting Blitz on, or whatever side we end up putting Savage on, or what, whoever we place, because we might make some more adjustments. Um, whatever side we end up putting our Centurion on probably doesn't need a an AoE unit. But if we're going to keep trying to use the Chanka, we definitely need an AoE unit on his side because he can deal a lot of damage quickly, but he can't deal damage to multiple enemies at once, except with his uh, second or his first skill. The second skill could be more valuable in some respects, because again, we're facing mostly very weak enemies. Hmm. So yeah, the benefit of Spray and Pray is that we can attack a lot faster, potentially deal with enemies a lot faster. And when in the process, we can, you know, since we're not always going to be hitting the same target, we can also take out, we'll have a chance to hit like the smaller targets if we, you know, are otherwise focused on a larger target. Yes, yes, I know. I'm glad you understand the tactical situation, Tachanka. Um, so yes, Flash Shield is probably going to still be very valuable. But yeah, the ability to, uh, s the ability to silence enemies is going to benefit us a lot. I've not been making use of it, but it's almost certainly a really good thing. Looking at, over at Nine Color Deer, I do feel like Nine Color Deer could be good. Did I say no? No, because uh, uh, yeah, when I say I do say I do mean silence because uh, Flash Shield does also silence. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, I didn't know that it silenced at first either. But yes, so stunning and silencing are both good. Um. But yeah, Sunning and Silencing are both good, and it does both of those. So that's a good way to reduce enemy numbers as well. To the point that it might actually be valuable to, uh, or it might be worthwhile to place Blitz alongside a unit who can't deal uh, AoE damage. Because yeah, we can take out 
enemies quickly once they're stunned and they won't split and all that. But yeah, the splitting is really the big issue. We could also swap Estelle back in. No reason not to, I suppose. Especially because Estelle is going to be, uh... Estelle is going to be eating good tonight, basically. Her self-healing is going to be proccing all the time because there are so many enemies that are so weak. Honestly, we can place her just, like, completely outside of medic range and she's just going to, like, go to town. Like, she will, she will have a great time. Yes, I did want to use more casters, and we did use more casters throughout most of this event, but this is not a situation that calls for casters. This is a situation that calls for fast and effective enemy wave clearing. So yes, casters can do that, like AoE casters can do that, chain casters can probably do that to a certain extent. I've never used a chain caster, so I don't really know, but the problem with those units is that they're expensive. <laughs> But you know who's not expensive? Estelle. And Catapult. And so on and so forth. At the very least, they're not as expensive. So. Snow Sant did okay. But she didn't do great. And I don't think we're really in a situation where we need her ability to silence anything so desperately. Because I don't... I don't know that we could... I don't know. I feel like the essence of evolution probably can't be hooked. I guess we can we can experiment a little bit, but I'm not confident in that as a strategy. Another thing that I'm not confident in is uh, my ability to uh, my ability to get units out if we had uh, any of them promoted anymore. So I am kind of glad that we didn't promote any of our units much more than they already are. Um. Don't let them get the drop on you. So, just as a sort of emergency precaution, we're going to start playing, placing a few welcome mats. We probably shouldn't have placed it that aggressively. But oh well. Um. So. Ooh, let's, on see, your let's, see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We need defense Ooh, immediately. Quickly. Going to take some damage here, but that's not too big of a deal. So this is a Welcome so we're doing a fine job. But we could be doing a better job. Oh dear. I think uh I placed one too many welcome mats there. Like if I had placed nice. any less, that would have been like perfect. Yes, assuming that uh, the essence of evolution doesn't just become substantially more aggressive at some point, and I don't know that it won't, but assuming that it doesn't, we can probably place Catapult outside of uh, medic range, and it's not going to be a huge deal. Yeah, the thing's about to explode again, which is a bit of an issue, but, you know. I suppose we might as well experiment now. Well, I don't know that this is a safe place for Snow Sant specifically, but um, there isn't really a, a safe place for Snow Sant, and that's, yeah, that definitely wasn't. Um, yeah, we need more damage on the right side. I'm getting carried away. Mm -hmm. um, Estelle. The Estelle is within melee, or within medic range, when I specifically said that she didn't need to be, but, you know, I should probably start dealing damage to this thing at some point, but I'm not too worried. Um, I should maybe be more worried, but I'm not that concerned. Um, that was a poor choice. I should have just placed Savage instead. Yeah, I should have placed Estelle where I put Savage. Why is... Oh, right. That Savage is attacking slower because of the excrescences, their quality. Um... Ah. Uh, okay, so. This side is not defended properly. Okay. So. go salvage some damage parts to at least reduce our losses. 
So we need to deal with the tumors quickly. We are a medical institution after all. <laughs> um, hmm. So this, the tumors only spawn from the essence, as far as I'm aware. Um, yeah, I haven't seen them spawn from anything else. Um, hmm. <laughs> but yeah, as it turns out, <laughs> as it turns out, um, our kind of best centurions are not really set up to clear those things on their own. So we do need to be taking them out with uh, ranged units, ideally, because that is a Stay dramatic, on. dramatic debuff. only question then is what unit do we use deployed probably again I'm being okay we can deal with the little fellas just fine with what we have now we need perfumer because we need passive healing. Um, so we could use two medics. I won't be afraid. If we position them wisely. Um, Laying out the welcome mat. All right, so the chonka. I don't like the position that we put the chonka in because if we are, yeah, if something like, if something goes wrong, he's like, we don't have any backups. Um, but anyway, so we need to deal with the tumors, and I don't know how we can position our units in such a way that is, like, able to deal with them effectively. Um, I should pause. I guess we can set explosives. I've been not using those because I thought to use them against the essence, which it kind of... The game kind of felt like it was suggesting that, but uh, it seems that, uh, no, that's not actually the strategy. Um, okay, one, I'm really getting ahead of myself, or not getting ahead, I don't know. We're having some issues here, so I should focus on DPS, because otherwise our units are going to get a little bit overwhelmed. They're already kind of overwhelmed, so... Placing Estelle here would actually allow her to block enemies while while they are still within uh, still within range of uh, support from Frost. Okay, we need to deal with the enemies on the right now. Um, hmm. I think that we can probably trust Ash. We can probably trust Ash. Um, hmm. Oh dear, something got past us. Oh yeah, Estelle is not blocking effectively. Oh, I forgot about. <laughs> I forgot about catapult. Okay. All right, so Ash is doing... Oh, Ash just, like, saved us. Wow. Okay. Do you think I have to okay, well, she saved us temporarily. Oh, Hurry up, Doctor. We gotta move. Okay. So. Hmm. Goodbye, Sora. <laughs> We've appreciated uh, your presence, but you've not helped us very much in a, in a good while. So, let's just try something new. And by something new, I mean something not terribly new. Um, we are going to try... My name is Popcar. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, my thought is basically just to swap Popcar in for Myrtle, like, as quickly as we can get away with. Um, let's make Popcar, like, decent, passable, um,
Um, HP up. I don't know that we're going to get much value out of uh, promoting her necessarily. Hmm. Because, yeah, okay. Miss Catapult, um, it's time to deploy. I don't think that we're, like, death is, like, a concern, basically. Stay alert. There's probably better ways to phrase that, but, um, uh, but yeah, our units are not, like, being killed, is the thing. We're not, like, losing units to damage. So, while it would be foolhardy to not deploy any medics, I think that we, I don't think we're having an issue of not having enough medics or anything like that. But yes, um, um, I should use the skill instead of just thinking about it. But yes. So. I should also deploy units with a, instead of just thinking about it. Okay. I won't be afraid. But yes. Anyway, most of the enemies are pretty weak Let and we don't, welcome. like, have any... They don't pose, like, a serious threat to us. It would be foolish of me to claim that they do not pose a threat to us whatsoever. But it's not a huge threat, the threat that they pose. Yeah, deploying Ash early gets us more DPS early. I'm not super convinced that I put her in a good spot, but I have made my choice and I'm going to uh, live with it, I suppose, one way or the other. Or maybe I won't live with it. We'll see. But, anyway. Yeah, Estelle over on the left-hand side is probably going to be the best. I think, honestly, <clears throat> I should have switched her over to Sacrificial Strike now that I think about it. Because we're... She is deep in no man's land, and she needs to kill things fast. So we need that extra damage. Like, soon. Is... The essence, the essence is within her range, so I don't know why she's not shooting it. I guess maybe... Maybe her, like, damage against it is so low that it just, like... The game just doesn't think that she's going to do damage, so it just doesn't target it? That sounds weird. And not accurate. But, it could be the case. Um, we're getting a lot of enemies over on the right-hand side, so I think we need another... Mm -mm -mm. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Enemies are going to get past us if we're not careful. Okay. So. Damage. 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 Oh, yes, Mom. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Um... Well, I don't think that was a good idea, the thing that I just did, but it was an idea, and it is a thing that I did, so. Okay, well, my theory has completely gone out the window. I could have definitely uh, used, used her skill at all. I was going to say I could have used it sooner, but I could have used it at all. Um... Hothcar is not doing a whole lot, um, and we uh, haven't lost yet. Okay, we've just lost another unit. Okay. So, we can't rely just on good smells to carry us through this. We do need to actually uh, heal our units. So, I think I'm probably thinking about this wrong. Hmm. I think I'm playing a bit too far, far in the backfield, basically. Though, hmm. The thing is, the, like... Okay. If we place a, say, Perfumer here and Dilopsis there, we can cover a lot of ground and heal a lot of units. With that... We can focus a little bit more on, we can, well, okay. Hmm. 
I need to be careful about how I'm thinking about this. Because we can deal pretty easily with the... Okay. So, the units that went down were ranged units. Like, we saw that. Ranged units don't have very much HP or defense on them, so they die quickly. But, hmm... Um, the thing does, no, actually, the thing does, doesn't it do true damage, maybe? Um, yeah, it does a large amount of true damage, so, yeah. The only thing that matters is HP, but it's not, Perfumer's skill, or Perfumer's talent, yeah, doesn't, doesn't heal based on the unit's HP, it heals based on her attack. So everything will die eventually if it's outside of her range, unless they have some other form of healing on them. Which, it's not that hard to get some other form of healing on them, but it is very hard to get um, global damage, is the thing. There is a way to get global damage. There's at least one way that I know of. The only question is, will it be... Maybe. Maybe. We have an option up our sleeve. I'll consider it. Um, okay. But, we need to get rid of the tumors. Like, they need to be killed quickly. The only question is how we're going to do that. So yeah, okay. So I think placing our units more aggressively is going to be something that we're going to start needing, we're going to need to start doing. Because yeah, we're facing a lot of very weak enemies, so we don't need to rely too much on healing for a lot of this mission. So yes, I don't know enough about the tactical situation to feel confident in positioning uh, Frost like like so, for instance. So actually, she probably does cover more spaces on the little fellas from there. So we did place her in the place where I said I was going to put Tilopsis or Perfumer, so uh, I guess I need to revise that strategy. Spoiler's still up. Oh, whoops. My bad, my bad. Thank you. I defended a, or I've used her skill at the wrong time. Oh dear, I'm panicking. <laughs> Okay, it's fine. One of them can get through. We'll live. Um, so yes, thank you for the heads up. I got a little bit, a uh, little bit carried away there. I won't be afraid. Hmm, I positioned her in a poor, poor lead, I think. Um, yeah, that's not great. Um, oh well. Intimidate the enemy. Hmm, okay, we've, we've lost. Okay. <laughs> a fatal error occurred during the operation. Okay. Reboot the system to proceed. So probably it would be beneficial to not panic so much is part of the issue. So. Stay with me. We can skip. Targets detected. I'm here to help. So, I'm thinking blocking like here and here <clears throat> could be beneficial. Something to take out the spawn of the essence like quickly could be valuable. Honestly, we might even want to deploy our units like very aggressively, like right on it, basically. Oh dear. Uh, all right. So we're the. Uh, Okay. Problem solved. Hmm? Guys. So I guess we don't need to deploy them directly on it because oh, the thing about Rhodes or the thing about uh, Rainbow Six operators Welcome. is they have guns. So. Whoop. Oh boy, the job. So, we still have kind of messed up our frost setup, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Setting up. And, oh dear, that might be one of the worst things in the world, though. 
Um, all right, we need more damage on the right hand side. That's uh, or the left hand side. That's it's gotten away from us somewhat. Um, This is the battlefield, and I don't like it. Uh. Yes. What me doing? Um. We've already placed Estelle, and we've placed Estelle in a way that I don't like company. tremendously. But Target. we can turn this around somewhat. Huh? Off car. Uh, maybe Savage would be better. We have the points for Savage. This one's mine. Oh, okay. The Chanka. I wonder if this thing can be silenced. Yes, actually. Um, I don't know how much good that did, but it can be silenced. We, we have confirmed that much. So. How do we want to swing this, though, is part of the issue. Um... If we place Pop Card here, then she's out of healing range. Yes. That's not necessarily a huge problem, but it is a problem. Hmm. Especially since, yeah, we've now had. What just happened? Who just died? Uh, Pop Card did. Okay. Hmm. We have to go. Hmm. So, how many bombs do we have here? That's it. Let's go. Let's go, indeed. Um, I appreciate the enthusiasm, Myrtle. We've got three bombs. So, that's something. I. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright. I let uh, Frost slip away from me go. again. Okay, okay, okay. Deep breath. Collect yourself. And then continue. Time for all so. the planning to pay off. I see the enemy. We need Myrtle. I'm here to fast. Help. We need frost fast. Frost can probably do Don't as much good problem. here as she could in the other position. Okay, never mind. Oh no, yes she can. Okay, we're good. So, the strategy might not fall apart at this point. I still, I'm not, I'm mm -hmm. not confident that we're going to clear this today. But, we can start to solve the problem somewhat. We're going to want Perfumer sooner rather than later, I think. But we also want, like, more defense. Um, okay, okay, okay. Um, if we place Ash like this, she can't contribute to killing... Oh dear. Um... Okay, well... Laying out the welcome mat. Cool. Alright. Should have placed the blocker there sooner, but it is what it is. Yes. Uh, we don't need to lop this yet. Um... Oh, I, oh, I didn't place perfume. Right, okay. Uh, we don't need to lop this just yet either. Okay. We can focus on Kachanka. Lopsus. Okay. So, the problem is being dealt with, to some extent. Um... 
if we can, Savage is definitely a better choice than Philopsis. Or Philopsis? Yes. Well, yeah. Savage is definitely a better choice for blocking than Philopsis is. Um, but more specifically, she's a better choice than... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Pop car. There we go. Okay. Now we're getting these horrible little creatures. And I've gotten ahead of myself. This is not within the range of any medic, so that's a bad place. Um, this covers two areas where the horrible little rats can spawn, so it's a good place. Um, hmm. Okay, so we have not lost, but we haven't succeeded either. Um, Hmm. Administering aid. Friendly injured. So yeah, I didn't have enough coverage on the left hand side. I was wanting to place Estelle, but no, that was a bad bad play. Um Yeah, I should have placed Popcar faster on the right hand side in the place that I put Estelle. Um oh, get that please. Where did I leave get that my please? ammunition belt? Don't worry, you got me. I'm here to help. We don't need ammunition, we just need we just need Myrtle. Hmm. There's a part of me that is tempted to bring out our old favorite, Pon Cyrus, but I don't think that she has enough, uh, I don't think she's got enough defense behind her to really justify, or enough offense behind her to really justify her, uh, presence here, instead of Myrtle, for instance. Um, ah, I've made a mistake. Okay, well, this wasn't working out super well anyway, so let's try something new. Alright, that's... Uh, I don't like what's going on here. I don't think that Myrtle can handle this, but I've been wrong before. Okay. I hope so too. Okay. Myrtle. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. Um, this is marginally better. In theory. Um, at the very least, as a defender, Blitz is going to be taking less damage. Hmm. Myrtle has gone down, which I kind of expected. Um, um, hmm. Time for business. So we're going to need Philopsis soon-ish. Um, oh, the Keats was kind of confused there. Interesting. Um, if we place two... Oh, it was still stunned, or still silenced, that's nice. Yes. Um, why did I do that? I didn't need to do that. Um, okay, I'm, again, panicking a little bit. Uh, I don't think either side is substantially better than either. Popcar does not do a tremendous amount of damage, does she? If anybody needs to sneeze, oh. standing by. Hmm. My pushover will pull a lot of enemies here. Estelle or Popcar does not do a tremendous amount of damage, but she does do damage. You've seen this Deploy. much. Blitz is not holding on as well as I had hoped. Perhaps it's to be expected, but... Yeah, um... Hmm. Hmm. I'm... 
honestly, we're doing kind of okay. Glitch notwithstanding, but we're doing kind of okay. Yeah, the thing that was probably less than ideal. Um, we need to like kill things before they kill Blitz. Um, all right, well, that's uh, not going to happen now. All right, so now it's in us way. I guess this is the state where it like takes damage over time, probably. It also uh, spawns a lot more horrible little mutants. Um, we're just... Oh, okay. Well, I was kind of expecting Savage to go down there, to be honest. It's also using its ability more frequently. Hmm. Uh, I'll go salvage some damage parts to at least reduce our losses. Hmm. Honestly, I think we learned a lot there. We learned that I'm uh, a little bit of a worry ward, though perhaps we didn't need to be told that. Um, honestly, I don't think that went too bad. I think that was a pretty good learning experience for the first uh, first attempt. But yeah, we definitely needed to place Perfumer in a different way so that she would cover... Yeah. Um, I guess we needed to place uh, Ash there, maybe? Because, yeah, we can't afford to put Ash outside of healing range. We can't afford to put Ash outside of healing range. If we play our cards right... Well, no. We don't need to play our cards right at all. We don't need to worry about that. We can... If we place Perfumer here, actually, facing like so, she can cover all of our melee units in here. And Estelle can look after herself. She's a tough girl. But yes, the right-hand side held strong until the big, nasty, uh, weird thing that happened um, that I can't quite define. Um, I guess that's its perfect form. I was kind of hoping that'd be kind of like a... Well, I don't know. It definitely didn't... Um, it, was a, it was a problem. It was a problem. And again, the problem we're facing is that we're not clearing enemies fast enough. We need to kill faster. Like, all of these things that we're fighting are really weak, but the problem is that they're just, like, there's so many of them. So we need to focus more on DPS. Honestly, Blitz might not be a great choice, at least not without some real... unless we really play around him. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what to do with Blitz. Shield Bash could be more valuable. Yeah, the ability to, like, just hit a bunch of things. Um, increases his attack speed considerably afterwards as well for a while. Um, problem with that is we don't have any other way to, uh, hmm, okay. Ash's first skill, we've had some, we've gotten good use out of, but I don't know if we've gotten so much use out of it that we wouldn't get better use out of Assault Tactics, because, especially once we get into that phase when things go very wrong, um, we're going to want things like dead fast. Sacrificial Strike. Please don't look at me. We wanted that in the first place. I was foolish not to switch over to it. I was still kind of thinking we could maybe put Estelle in a place where she can be healed, but she doesn't need to be healed because she's very strong and very great, and we don't need to worry about her. Catapult is okay. She's not doing great, but she's doing okay. Maybe a higher damage uh, option would be better. Popcar is a decent gap filler, but she didn't really contribute too much. Snow Sant was... did surprisingly come in clutch... A few points. Yeah, Estelle is a strong, independent woman who don't need no medic. Exactly, exactly. But yes, Estelle is is very strong and very powerful, and we don't need to worry about her because she is able to to heal herself. 
And so the ability to kill in like one hit where it might take two with a sacrificial strike is probably going to be more beneficial to her than like anything else we can do for her. But yes, the chunk is doing fine. I think spray and pray is the ideal skill to have on him for the circumstances. Blitz is doing okay. I'm tempted to switch over to shield bash because silencing things hasn't been that useful, but I also maybe should be silencing things more. Because again, part of the issue is that we're running into lots of enemies. And if we silenced more aggressively, we wouldn't need to deal with as many enemies. There are other ways to silence. Yeah, nice team. Thank you. Yes, thank you for dropping by. Didn't put a, on Ayla's? I did, actually. Um, but yeah, I'm a little bit of a weirdo, though. So I'd like to use, as much as I can, use units who are uh, relevant to the story as much as I can justify. And, you know, since the uh, second set of Rainbow Six operators didn't weren't out yet. Whoops, I didn't mean to start that. Because yes, we are about to end. Let's show them what we can do. But yes, story niche team exactly. Tactical um, support system online. Let us back out. But yes. Anyway, as I was saying, since the second batch of Friendly. Rainbow Six operators weren't out at this point, I kind of don't didn't plan on having them on my team. Honestly, I feel like uh, we might like. If for no other reason than because he's another Centurion and we've needed those a lot, it could be useful to put in Fuse, but beyond that, um, yeah. What I meant to do was, uh, yeah, go to my team, you. So yes, yeah, so you can see Ayla, Doc, Fuse, and uh, Yana. Anyway. But yes. So, we've done a lot of attempts at this. We've gotten... A pretty good understanding of the fight, though maybe not as great as I might like. And that alarm means that we're definitely uh, getting very close, or we're, yeah, we're definitely past the time that I would like to end. And we're at the time where I almost certainly should end. So, with what we've learned, let's wrap up, think about things some more, and come back ready and refreshed for tomorrow. So yes, we've had a lot of fun with this today. It has definitely been a challenge, and I had heard that it was a challenge, and I was expecting it to be a challenge. I didn't know that it would be this much of a challenge, or quite the type of challenge that it is. Because it's interesting. The Essence of Evolution is not a tremendously difficult boss in and of itself, but the problem is that it, yeah, the sheer amount of enemies that it is able to spawn as well as just the enemies that spawn naturally throughout the uh, throughout the level. Once we deal with the secondary enemies, we can probably, in fact, actually, that's something I hadn't considered. I hadn't really thought about the fact that the other enemies are like finite. So once we get through those, we might be able to reconfigure our deployment to better favor taking out the uh, essence of evolution. That's something to keep in mind, but I can't say with great confidence that it's going to be the ideal strategy. But yes, anyway, so time to wrap up. As always, if anyone has a suggestion for who we ought to raid, I would be delighted to hear it. If not, I can find a target on my own. As for other things, yes, let's go over the schedule. So, for this upcoming... Yeah, good work on the stream. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. But yes, where was I? Right, so, schedule. Currently, we're planning on continuing to play this event until either the event ends or we clear it. But yeah, I'm not focused on... I'm not planning on doing the extra stages. I just want to get through the final boss, basically. If we can do that, I will be happy. And so, to that end, we will play every evening that I possibly can until the stream is over. So most likely that will be through Saturday until we beat it. But yes, the streams are going to, are planned to start at 9 p.m., somewhere around 9 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. 
for the Thursday and Friday streams, and then should start around 8.30 p.m. for the 8.30 to 9 p.m. for the uh, Saturday stream. If we're still playing at that point, that might justify me starting earlier, but we will see. Um, let's see, where was I? Yeah, so that's the times. Um, yeah, once again, we will play Arknights until such time as Operation Originium Dust is cleared, and then we will probably put uh, Arknights on a break for the rest of the week. And we will see what next week holds when next week comes. I have a lot on my mind right now, and thinking about uh, a week into the future is not, uh, not the, the future, that, that future is a little bit blurry for me. So, let's wrap up. Not seeing any raid suggestions, unless anyone has a last minute suggestion. While well, I take a quick sip. <laughs> sip. Alright. So, not seeing any. So I think tonight, we're going to go and drop by... Um... Hmm... <laughs> I suppose someone who we haven't seen in a well, yeah, someone who we haven't seen in a little while. Or actually, 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 let's see. I'm gonna take a quick look before I make a final decision because my first target idea last time I was about to raid into someone was uh, someone who is just about to end stream. So I don't want to. Uh, don't necessarily want to end or raid into someone about to end because that's usually kind of an awkward situation for them. They usually don't like it too much. But yeah, um, hmm. All right, looks like uh, they've still got a at least some more time in the stream. So let's go and visit Judo Kame. Yes, a longtime friend of the channel, um, someone who we have seen a fair amount in the past used to collaborate with them quite a bit. Hmm, actually, hold on. Alright, so the, the scene just changed somewhat, so they might actually be setting up to end. Uh, hold on. Nope, okay, never mind. It doesn't look like it. Anyway, so, they're playing some, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, it looks like. Yes. Um, yeah, okay. Yudo Kame. The stream will continue, so I am confident raiding into it. Okay. Probably won't stick around for very long because I it's a bit late for me. But yes. So all that being said, the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. Thank you all for joining me tonight. It's been a real pleasure. But yes, it has been a great, a very fun challenge. And I am excited to see more of the essence of evolution going forward. It's going to be definitely a challenge. And I'm going to probably be a little bit exasperated throughout a lot of this upcoming week. But I think we can do it. So, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you've had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you will be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Let us get this raid underway.